हाँ जी बच्चों मैं ऑडिबल गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग अर्पित कहाँ थे तुम सर एग्जाम चल रहे हैं तुम तो मतलब तुम एग्जाम में टॉपिक छोड़ोगे फिर बोर्ड्स में कैसे करोगे सर प्रैक्टिकल भी था और सर इंग्लिश का एग्जाम भी था सर दो दो चीजें थी इंग्लिश के एग्जाम के लिए फिजिक्स की क्लास प्रैक्टिकल भी थे ना तीनों महराज कहा हो अभी भी नहीं है इस लड़के का नहीं समझ आता मेरे कि इस साल क्या होगा मतलब एग्जाइटी होती है मुझे आजकल महराज के बारे में सोच के कि महराज क्या करके जाएगा एनीवेज अच्छा आप में से किसे हिंदी नहीं आती अक्षय हिशमा मीनाशी यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी और नॉट उर्दू हिंदी अक्षय यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी हिशमा एंड मीनाशी लगा कि मैं डांट रहा किसी को समझ में ही ना आए सो नबील खान इज आल्सो नॉट इन क्लास सो द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव फिनिश दिस स्टैटिस्टिक्स विद द एसी ना वी हैव फिनिश दिस एवरेज वैल्यू आरएमएस वैल्यू फॉर द फुल साइकिल फॉर द हाफ साइकिल दैट वी हैव फिनिश Now let's calculate something else. Let's do some some questions on it. We have finished this question, na? In the last class? No, sir. Okay, we did. Uh... What was the last topic that we did? We did the RMS value. Yes, sir. EMF or RMS value of current also. RMS RMS value of AF, AC, EMF. EMF. We we have have not not? yet discussed discussed the RMS value of current. Yes, we have or not? Current, current. Please check your notes. No sir. We haven't yet discussed this thing. Okay. Okay. Just like the RMS, we discussed this thing that it is it measure the. hot wire instruments we use for measuring of rms value and they are based on heating effect we have we discussed this thing this topic yes, i believe this was the last topic in the last class in the class no? yes mehraj kahan ho tum sir actually sir test chal raha tha hamara haar bhai main to baat kar raha hu may se lekar ab tak ki kahan ho may se lekar ab tak तुम कभी आते हो तुम अक्सर नहीं आते हो आते भी हो तो बीच में फिर तुम क्लास छोड़ के चले जाते हो ऐसा कैसे होगा बहुत टेंशन में हूं मैं तुम्हें लेके इतनी क्लास छोड़ोगे तो कैसे काम चलेगा मतलब एक आध क्लास छूटती है तो चलो मैं कुछ करा सकता हूँ मैं कुछ प्लान आउट कर सकता हूँ किस बच्चों को मैं लास्ट में कुछ करा दूंगा ऐसे करा दूंगा लेकिन इतनी क्लासेस छोड़ने के बाद तो मैं हिम्मत जवाब दे जाती है मैं कैसे कराऊंगा चलो रेगुलर एटलीस्ट अब से रेगुलर रहिए जो आपकी फर्स्ट बुक में जो लॉसेस हुए हैं वो ठीक है उसको किसी तरह से कंपनसेट करने की कोशिश करेंगे बट एटलीस्ट सेकंड बुक में तो रेगुलर रहिए ओके द नेक्स्ट इज इक्वेशन ऑफ एसी करंट द इक्वेशन ऑफ एसी करंट इज जस्ट लाइक द इक्वेशन ऑफ एसी ई एम एफ वी हैव इक्वेशन ऑफ एसी करंट ई इज ई नॉट साइन ओमेगा टी ओके वॉट इज आई नॉट हेयर Hishma, Hishma, what is I not here? Are it, Minashi? What does I not means here? Current maximum. Ah, the maximum value of current, huh? What is omega? No. Sir, no. angular frequency. Angular frequency. And what about I, Yashika? Sir, instantaneous current. Instantaneous current. I is the instantaneous value of current. So just like EMF, we have the equation of current. Only instead of E, we are using I. The rest, the meaning of all other quantities are same. So uh, yes, just like EMF, the average value for the full cycle is zero. If in your exam someone asks you to derive the expression, then the derivation is exactly same. In each and every step, step just instant of E, you will write I. Otherwise, each and every step is same. That's why I'm not repeating this derivation. Okay. The next is average value of current for the half cycle. Akshay, 
can you guess the expression for average value of half for half cycle? So can you repeat? Yes. What is the average value for half cycle? Average value of current for half cycle? Um, what was the average value of EMF for the half cycle? What was the expression? The expression was two by pi E naught, right? So just like EMF, you have average value of current, it's two by I, two by pi I naught or 0.637 of I naught. The relations are same. Instead of EMF, you're just using current. Next, RMS value of current. What is the RMS value? It's I naught by root two, just like EMF, 0 0.707 of I naught. Note it down, these values. They will do some questions. So EMF and current have sim similar relations. So you started AC in the previous class? Yes, we started AC in the previous class. Nabil Khan, you had some internet issues in the last class, I believe. Huh? Anshika, where are you, child? Why are you so absent? Anshika, where are you? Anshika, you also went to the last class. What happened? Sir, actually, I was not doing my work. Anshika, this is very important. You know, you missed the exams because you missed the class. I believe you will have seen your yes. lectures. But, there are so बीच बीच में क्लासेस आप स्किप कर देती हैं कभी आप 9:30 पे चली जाती हैं कभी आप 9:40 पे चली जाती हैं ऐसे तो नहीं होता ठीक है आप वो जेई वाला पोर्शन नीट वाला नहीं करना चाहती यू कैन एट लीस्ट स्टे अप टू 10 ना दो महीने की ऑल क्लासेस रहेगी सो और आप डेली से हो तो मुझे तो नहीं लगता कि आप 9 बजे सोते हो ना अब से रेगुलर रहो बच्चे मतलब एक तुम्हें yes. और एक मिराज को लेके मैं बहुत टेंशन में हूं क्लास में यस नबील खान इज योर कनेक्शन स्टेबल नाउ यस सर ओके सो योर कनेक्शन वाज अनस्टेबल इन द लास्ट क्लास हां so did you went through the recording of the last lecture? Nabil? No, sir. Uh, it was not uploaded. It was not uploaded. Okay. Can I scroll it now? So Nabil, just concentrate on this, this question. Huh? So through this question, I will explain the last lecture. So this is the equation of AC current. I is 20 sine 314 T. Arpit, Mehraj, Anshika, those who are absent in the last class, just concentrate on this question. Through this question, I will explain whatever we did in the last class. This is the standard equation of an AC current. Unlike DC, the AC is variable. It changed with time. So this is the equation of AC current, 20 sine 314 T. This, the standard equation is I naught sine omega t. Instead of I naught, I'm using 20. Instead of omega, I'm using 314. So the peak value of current is 20 ampere. Angular frequency is 314 radian per second. I can write, so this is the peak value and this is the angular frequency. 
you can calculate linear frequency using this relation that omega is 2 pi into frequency. So it will be omega by 2 pi. So this is 50 hertz. Now we need average value for full cycle. See, this current is changing. So when a quantity changes, then we can calculate various types of averages. So first of all, we'll calculate the average value for full cycle. For full cycle, the average value is zero. So if you have AC, then the average value of AC EMF for the full cycle is always zero. Then you can calculate average value for half cycle. For half cycle, the relation for average value is 0.637 of I0. 0.637 of I0 is 20. So this is the average value for the half cycle. Then he can ask you to calculate RMS. See, this average value for full cycle, half cycle, RMS, these are different types of mean, different types of averages that you can calculate for current. So if you know the peak value, this is the peak value, the maximum value of current. Then you can calculate the average value for half cycle. This is just 0.637 into the peak value. You can calculate the RMS value for when, when we calculate RMS value, it's for full cycle and half cycle RMS value same. And this is just 0 0.707 of I know. Nabil, Arpit, Miraj, is it clear now? Sir, what is peak value? Maximum value. The current is changing. So the maximum value that current can have is the peak value. Okay. Okay, just note down this question. And try to do all parts on your own. Huh? Hello. Yes, Nabil. Sir, why is it 0 0.635 instead of 0 0.5 uh, for is, uh, calculating half? Yeah, this is we, this is what we have derived in the last section, in the last lecture. When we derive it, it comes out to be this way. So right now, I can't discuss the derivation again. Just remember these values. I need these values in the coming section. Okay, sir. So those who are absent in the last class, you have missed a very, very small portion of AC, nothing major in AC. If you can understand that AC is EMF and current is in this form, AC is not constant, it changes with time. It's always in terms of sine or cos. And if you have this equation, then you can calculate the peak value. You can calculate the average value for full cycle. You can calculate average value for half cycle, the RMS value. That means you understand AC. Tell me once you have written, Vishma, all parts written? No, sir. Akshay, done. 
Isso. so this is the equation of current i is i naught sin omega t plus i naught the next type of question so if the question paper is easy then you will get this type of questions to calculate the rms and the average value but if it is tough then you will can then you can get this equation of current i is i naught sin omega t plus i naught cos omega t to calculate average value let's calculate the average value of this term huh? see the standard method to do this type of questions is integration you should integrate it but the shortcut technique to solve these type of questions like we calculate average value for half cycle So the average value for the half cycle, not, not sorry, for not a half cycle, for full cycle. So using this trick, we can only calculate average value for the full cycle. For the half cycle, you have to go back to the integration, the whole derivation thing. But if you look at the previous year's questions of your exams, the average value for half cycle is for these type of questions, they never ask. Whenever they ask, they ask for full cycle only. So you can take the average of this term, I naught sine omega t plus I naught cos omega t. You have two terms. You can break this average into two parts. One is I naught sine omega t. And then you can take average of I naught cos omega t. Then next what you can do is, or let's call this as I1 and I2. Huh? Let's take two different terms. This is the average value of sine omega t plus I do the average value of cos omega t. When you take average value of sine to calculate average value, what we can do is we can take the minimum value of sine omega t. What is the minimum value of sine omega t, Arpit? What is the minimum value of sine? Arpit. Yes, okay. yes, sir. So 90 so, degree. 90 degree is the angle. I'm asking about the minimum value. And by the way, at sir, 90 one. degree sign is maximum. It's plus one. Sir, uh, 30. Half. Nah. Again, half. No, half is not the minimum value. Akshay, what is the minimum sir, value? 270. I'm not asking about the angle, Arpit. I'm asking about the value. Like I'm sir, not... Sir. Minus one. The minimum value of sine is minus one. And what is the maximum value? It's plus one. So to take average of sine omega t, we take minimum value, we add maximum value by two. Then again, i by two is bahar. Take minimum value, then maximum value divided by two. So it comes out to be zero plus zero is zero. This is how we calculate average. So the average value of current for the full cycle is zero. And this is the trick to calculate these type of questions. We are not calculating RMS. But if you get these type of questions, then use this shortcut method. Take average to calculate average of any function, take its minimum value and then maximum value and divide it by two. Okay, if I use the same technique, Hishma, 
then can you calculate the average of sin square omega t what should be the minimum value of sin square omega t is not okay noha what should be the minimum value of sin square omega t noha noha akhtar Yashika, what is the minimum? Yes, yes, no. What is the minimum? Zero. zero. And what is the maximum value? It's one. One. So if you calculate average of sine square omega t, it comes out to be half. See, minimum value of sine square cannot be minus one. We got it square. Even if you take minus one, the square will become plus one. So minus one is not possible for sine square omega t. The minimum value is zero, and the maximum value is called one. So the average is half. Remember this thing. Maybe you you need this expression from this point of time. It's not enough. Tell me once you have written. written yes sir okay so that was about the average values instantaneous values half cycle full cycle values the next thing is phasor and phasor diagram okay yes this is all see in uh, ac along with emf and current you should also know know about power the power for ac is this is the expression for average power we will derive this expression but in the last but at the end the derivation is at the end but in all circuits you are supposed to calculate this power so just note down this expression the power is e rms i rms cos pi we'll use this expression later so don't write this thing just write the expression e rms i rms cos pi where e r I will explain what this cos phi means. E RMS is the RMS value of EMF. I RMS is the I RMS value of current. Phi is the phase difference. We'll discuss what does phase difference mean. Just not, just write this definition. I will explain what this cos phi, what this phi means, what is power factor. But for the time being, just write this expression. E RMS, I RMS, cos phi is the average power. Okay, the next important thing is phasor, phase and phasor diagram. The next topic is phasor and phasor diagram. See, so what are yes. Thanks. Phasor. In physics, phasors are those quantities which changes sinusoidally with time. Changes sinusoidally with time means these are those quantities which change like the sine function. What is special about the sine function? The special about the sine function is sine function is periodic. Like sine function repeats itself after a certain angle. If this is zero degree, this is ninety degree. This is three sixty degree. Then again, it will repeat itself. So any function which change just like the sine function, which is periodic, are known as phasors. The quantities which change according to sine function, not just sine, but also cos. Cos is also periodic. Like it change again after fixed interval, this cos will repeat itself. So phasors are those quantities which change.
sinusoidally with time. So quantities which change sinusoidally with time are known as phasors. And next, what are phasor diagrams? So if I give you some examples of phasors, one example of phasor is this I naught sine omega t. This is example of phasor. In phasors, in class 11, you did many phasors. You did a uh, displacement in SHM, that was a phasor. You did velocity in SHM, that was also a phasor. You did acceleration, that was also a phasor. You did kinetic energy and potential energy in SHM, both were phasors. So phasors are any quantity which change according to sine or cosine function are known as phasors. Sinusoidally means this have either sine or cos. So this is a typical example of phasor. I naught sine omega t is a phasor quantity. This angle or you can say argument of sine is very important. This is known as phase. This is the phase. This phase is the soul of this equation. How this function change with time will depend upon phase. Whether your current will be zero or your current will be maximum at a particular time depends upon the phase. This is known as the phase of the function. If I take another phase, like I can write E naught sine of omega t plus pi. This is another function. What is the phase in this equation, Anshika? What is the phase of this equation? Anshika. Sir, uh, phi naught. Not phi naught. Omega t plus pi. This is the phase. Omega t plus pi is the phase. Next, we need phase difference. So it's very clear that current and EMF are not in safe phase. Their phases are different. So phase difference simply means take the phase of EMF and from this subtract the phase of current and you will be left with pi. Only. So the phase difference is pi. So that's the phase difference between EMF and current. That's the phase diagram. So what are phases? Phases are those quantities which change according to sine or by cosine function. Phases is the argument of sine or cos term. This argument is known as phase. Phase difference is just difference in phases in two phases. Right? So this is the phase difference. We usually represent phase difference by phi. Now, after phase difference, we have a diagram. We draw a diagram. So is phase is difference constant? Phase difference, yes, is constant. Between two phases, usually phase difference is constant. But in general, your phase difference can change with time. But at least... Uh, the type of functions that we do, the type of phases that we will deal with. In those phases, your phase difference is constant. Throughout this chapter, your phase difference will always be constant. The next thing is phasor diagram. So phasor diagram, when you draw phasor diagram, that means it's a single diagram, which will represent the peak value, phase, and the instantaneous value. Why we draw phasor diagram? We draw phasor diagram just to uh, see phase difference. We drop some pictures, some diagrams, so that we can clearly see the phase difference between two phases. But along with phase difference, phasor diagram also tells you about the peak value. It also tells you about the uh, instantaneous value. It also tells you about the phase. But the major application of phasor diagram in this chapter is to check phase difference. You want to check phase difference between two quantities. To check that phase difference, we draw phasor diagram. So, uh, so it's a diagram. It's not a graph. Huh? We're not plotting some I versus T or E versus T. We're just drawing a diagram. So to understand phasor diagram, let's take one example. Let's draw phasor diagram of this equation, E naught sine omega T. To draw this phasor diagram, what we will do, we take length of a line or an arrow equal to the peak value and the angle which this line will make with the x-axis will be equal to phase. So I take this x-axis and y-axis. I take an arrow. The length of the arrow is equal to peak value. Then we take this angle, this phase. This angle will tell you the phase. This angle will tell you the phase. So this is the phasor diagram. 
just by looking at the phasor diagram you know okay the peak value the peak value is e not because the length of the arrow is e not you know okay the inclination with the x axis is omega t so the phase is omega t and if you can draw a projection over the y axis then this projection will give you the instantaneous value this projection will give you the instantaneous value projection will give you the instantaneous value so that's the phasor diagram it will give you three things phase peak value phase instantaneous value all let's take another example we take one more quantity i i not sin omega t plus pi by 2 nabil khan just check the phase of this equation what is the phase of current nabil khan what is the phase of current in this phasor nabil tumhe to video on karni padegi mujhe shak hai tum bich bich mein gayab ho jate okay nabil is not in class Akshay, what is the phase of this equation? Omega t plus pi by two. Pi by two. So uh, when we draw the phasor diagram of this equation, the length of the arrow will be equal to i naught. So take an arrow. The length of the arrow is equal to i naught. But the phase is omega t plus pi by two. So up to here, it's omega t. Then you have to add pi by two more into it. So this whole will be. Omega t plus pi by two. This is the phase. Omega t plus pi by two is the phase of this equation. Now, if you want to check the phase difference here, this is e naught, this is i naught. You can clearly visible that phase difference is pi by two naught. So, what information the phase sir diagram gives? It gives an idea about the peak value. it gives you an idea about the phase and the most important thing it will give you the phase difference just by looking at the diagram you can tell okay the phase difference between emf and current is pi by 2 you can also tell that emf is leading the current by an angle of pi by 2 now there's one more thing that this phasor diagram gives it also gives the instantaneous value if you take a projection on the y axis then this projection will give the instantaneous value but in that that is not important in fact in the whole chapter we will never use phasor diagram to calculate instantaneous value we will never use phasor diagram for the peak value whenever we draw phasor diagram we draw it only for the phase difference the phase difference is important but just by looking at the diagram you can tell okay the phase difference is pi by 2 just by looking at the diagram you can say okay current is leading because angle increases anti clockwise sense so current leads emf by an angle of pi by 2 Is it clear the phasor diagram and everything here? Nishika, Arpit, Hishma, Nabil. Yes. Oh, Nabil, so hey, in class. Okay. See, and just one more thing. The major difference in the study of AC and DC is the phase difference. In DC, we don't have phase difference, but in AC, we have phase difference. The difference between AC and DC. one major difference between ac and dc is the phase difference the physical meaning of phase difference is like if two circuits if current and emf in a circuit have phase difference that means when the emf is maximum your current can be zero if they have phase difference and phase difference physically means your emf is maximum in the circuit but your current is zero your current could be maximum but your emf can be zero this is the physical meaning of phase difference and these type these type of things were not at all possible in dc circuits when you do dc then you say emf is zero the current should be zero emf is maximum then your current will be maximum but here in ac due to phase difference you can have maximum emf and zero current you can have zero current or the maximum current and the zero emf this is the physical change that come into your circuit due to this phase difference. most most important thing in this in this chapter of phase difference for every circuit you will draw phasor diagram for every circuit you will remember the phase and phase difference between emf and current
नबील खान ये सर वेवर यू नबील यू हैव टू सर गॉड डिस्कनेक्टेड यू डोंट यू हैव टू ओपन योर वीडियो मुझे बहुत शक है तुम्हारे को तुम बीच बीच में व्हाट्सएप पे आई एम स्टार्टिंग द फोकस मोड सो नो वन एल्स कैन सी योर वीडियो एज देन मी जस्ट जस्ट स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो Abil, are you starting your video? So this is the punishment. If you don't respond in class, then you have to open your video. So Nabil, if you don't respond, then I will assume that you are not in class, and I'll force you to open your video. Up. Sir, I got disconnected that time. Okay. So let's hope we don't get disconnected now. उमर वेवर यू इन द लास्ट क्लास कहा था कैसे होगा we started uh, this uh, ac in the last lecture like and today also uh, you joined very how much have you completed how much have you completed ac 10% not 10% like doing uh, 15 16% like ac will take six lectures so one lecture is over one sixth is so you started ac the last class right yeah in the last class so one class is only done one class and done one and this today's class and today also you joined very late Fine, fine, fine. So see, phasor diagram means, uh, Miraj. When you draw a phasor diagram, this is let's say phasor E naught sine omega t. When you draw phasor diagram, phasor diagram will represent the peak value and the phase. So you take an arrow. The length of the arrow is equal to the peak value, and the angle with the x-axis is equal to the phase. Phase is omega t. So E naught phase is omega t. This is your phasor diagram. You take another thing. You take current. Now, if I ask you to calculate the phasor diagram, draw the phasor diagram of this term. You take an arrow. Length of the arrow is equal to y naught. The angle which this arrow makes with the x-axis is omega t plus pi by two. So up to here, it's omega t. Then you take pi by two, so it comes into second quadrant. So these two phasors are clear, Miraj. Yes, sir. We take arrow equal to the, the length of the arrow is equal to the peak value, and the inclination with the x-axis is equal to the phase. Now, just by looking at this phasor diagram, you can tell me, okay, E naught and I naught are not in same phase. EMF and current are not in same phase. They have a phase difference, and that phase difference is pi by two. That phase difference is nineteen. Pi by two. 
so that was about phase and phasor diagram now let's move on to the circuit so that was the first part of ac the first part Can you just show the phasor diagram again so i have not written okay just draw it so the first part of ac will deal with the statistics those average the rms and all those values and this phase and phasor diagram in the second part we'll do circuits like how to solve a resistor with an ac circuit ac supply how to solve an inductor with an ac supply how to solve a capacitor with an ac supply that is the next task Raj, just tell me once you have written up huh? nabil is it clear this phasor diagram yes sir Nabil, can you just tell me, just by looking at this diagram, that EMF and current are in same phase or they have some phase difference? So they are in different phases. They are in different phases. Now, can you tell me which one is leading and which one is lagging? Which is ahead? Which one leads? Current leads or EMF leads? Current. EMF. See, current is ahead of EMF. Now, EMF is here. And current is here. Lead lag means in terms of angle. Which one is ahead in terms of angle? Current or EMF? Current, 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 current. So we'll say that current leads. By what angle current is ahead of EMF? Nabil again. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. You can say that current leads EMF by 90 degrees. Mehraj, written? Yes, sir, sir. What is omega, uh, omega T plus pi by 2? That's the face. That's the face of this equation. Now let's start the circuit. So the first and the easiest circuit is resistor. We take a resistor, we connect this resistor with an AC supply. See, when we solve something with an AC supply, what are our motives? Circuit solving means we have the equation of EM. We need an equation of current. When we solve something with an AC supply, that means we need an equation of current. We need phase difference. We need expression of power. And then we have to draw a phasor diagram. This is our motive while we solve any circuit with uh, AC supply. So we have oh, EMF. So that again? Yeah. The motive. So, yeah. The motive of solving any circuit with an AC supply is to get the equation of current to get the phase difference, to draw the phasor diagram, and to get power, average power. These are motives when we solve something. Like we take a resistor, we connect this resistor to an AC supply, E naught sine omega T. The first task is to calculate current. See, resistor is the easiest thing because resistor follows Ohm's law. V is equal to I R. So in resistor, I will be E by R. So you have E naught by R sine omega T. E naught is the peak value. So you can say that E naught by R will be the peak value of current. If E naught is the peak value of EMF, then E naught by R is the peak value of current. So you can say E naught by R is equal to I naught, peak value of current. Now. This I naught is the simply the peak value of current. The peak value of current is I naught. Uh, sir? Yes. Uh, so the peak value is also known as the RMS value, right? No, no, no. They are different. Peak and RMS are totally different. RMS is have basically you, peak value you divided. RMS? Yes, that this is what we did in the first lecture. RMS is RMS. peak divided by root. So this is how we calculate RMS? the peak value divided by root. Two. Okay, okay. So the peak value is of current is just the peak value of EMF divided by peak value of resistance. So what we can do is we can just substitute it here. Instead of E naught by R, I'm putting I naught. So uh, Anshika, instead of E naught by R, if I write I naught, what would be the equation? Yes, Anshika. What would be the equation? Then it would be I naught sine omega t. So this is the equation I naught sine omega t. Now let's check the faces. This is the face of EMF and this is the face of current. Is there any phase difference between EMF and current? See, EMF is E naught sine Not omega that. t, current is I naught sine omega t. Both are same phase as you can say that current and EMF are in same phase. There's no phase difference, phase difference is zero. 
Phase difference is zero means if EMF is zero, then your current will be zero. If your EMF is maximum, then your current will be maximum. This is the physical meaning of having zero phase difference. Now, if phase difference is zero, then we can calculate our draw the phasor diagram. So in phasor diagram, both E naught and I naught will have same phase, so they will overlap each other. This is our current and this is EMF. They have the phase same phase, so they will overlap. Now let's calculate the average power. What was the formula for calculating average power, Yashika? V by I. No. E R M S into I R M S. Into cos. Into cos phi. Into cos phi, right? That's the difference between uh, AC and DC. In DC, you don't have this cos phi. In AC, you have cos phi. So it's E R M S, I R M S, cos phi. How much is phi? Phi is zero. Cos zero is one, so it's E R M S, I R M S. The maximum value of cos theta is one, so you can say for resistor the average power is maximum. If you compare average power of resistor with all circuits, all circuits means with inductor, with capacitor, with their series and parallel combinations, then the maximum dissipated power is for resistor only. Resistor dissipate maximum power. Maximum power means the maximum part of electrical energy get dissipated as heat. This is the meaning of power dissipation. The power dissipation is maximum in resistor. Next, you can calculate power factor. Power factor is cos phi. Cos phi is known as power factor. See, understand what you mean by power factor. See, if you calculate average power in an AC circuit, the formula is E R M S. I R M S cos phi. E R M S constant. I R M S some fixed number this cos phi can vary so the power will depend upon this cos phi if cos phi is 1 that means your power is maximum if your cos phi comes out to be zero for some circuit that means your power is zero for that particular circuit so we this cos phi controls the power we call this cos phi as the power factor so this is the power factor cos phi is plus 1 this is the maximum value power factor is maximum that means this circuit will dissipate the maximum amount of your energy in the form of heat. That's the meaning of the maximum power factor. Good. Note it down. Is it clear, everyone? Nabil? Arpit, Miraj. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, resistor is the easiest circuit. For resistor, you can calculate current from EMF in just one step. Tell me if you have, you have written. Sir, can you scroll?
Can I scroll it? Yes, sir. Roll uh, up a bit. Well done, sir. Ah, ji, written. Uh, yes. Okay. Hello. Yes. You're finished, sir.
the power factor is the maximum power uh, maximum power dissipated no no power factor will control how much power how much electrical energy will get converted into heat energy if power factor is plus 1 then it's the maximum value power factor can have any value between 0 to plus 1 so for this particular circuit it's plus 1 which is the maximum value it's maximum for this particular circuit not for all circuits yeah can i scroll it now The next thing is the sign curve. See, the sign curves means you have to plot the actual graph between EMF and time and current and time. So this is time and this is EMF. So this is the equation of EMF is e naught sine omega t. So EMF depends upon time through this sign function. So when you plot this graph. This is the graph, and this is E naught, E naught versus sine graph. When you plot the same graph for current, current is also a sine function, so both the graph will overlap. The only difference is the EMF is the peak value of EMF, and the peak value of current may be different. So when I draw it, I draw it in this way for current, and this is the peak value of current. See the peak value of EMF and current could be same; it could be different. Like peak value of current. Can be greater than that of EMF also. So I'm taking one possibility when I naught is less than E naught. I naught can be greater than E naught also. But I'm taking just one probability, one possibility that I naught is somewhat less than E naught. So that is the sine curve. And the last graph is: Does resistance depends upon frequency of current? No. Resistance does not depends upon the frequency. So when you plot resistance versus frequency graph, it will be a straight line. Frequent resistance will not change with frequency. Just note it down. Let me do some questions on it. Oh, sir, can you explain this again? So we are plotting EMF versus time graph. Huh? So the graph depends upon the sine function. So this is standard sine function. This is if you want to plot theta versus sine theta, then this is the graph of sine theta. EMF depends upon sine theta, so sine. So the graph of EMF will coincide with that of sine only. So this is the graph for the EMF. This is the peak value, which is E naught. When you plot the same graph for the current, current is also depends upon the sine function. So the Current will also follow the same curve, but their peak values could be different because I naught is E naught divided by R, so I naught or E naught could be different. I naught can be equal to E naught R if R is one. I naught can be greater than E naught. I naught can be less than E naught. So I'm taking one possibility when I naught is less than E naught. That curve that we are getting is the usual sine curve, the sine function. Sir, hmm. yes. Again, you scroll. Scroll up. Or down. This is just say, let everyone write. So I believe everyone have written up to here, no?
what is the straight line graph for this straight line graph is resistance versus frequency this graph says that resistance does not depend upon frequency of current resistance is something which is independent of frequency so if you change frequency resistance will not change so that's why the graph is a straight line Okay, now solve this question. Everyone solve this question and write your answer in chat room. Please write your answers in chat room. Everyone, fast. Mirage is no Mirage. Mirage, this twenty is the peak value of EMF, not the current. Resistance is this. Yashika, first is correct. Second one is also correct. Uh, third part. Yes, yes, you got third is also correct. Minashi first is correct. Noha first is correct. Second is correct. Hishma, Arpit, Akshay. Yes, Miraj, first part is correct now. Hishma's first part is correct. Akshay first is wrong. Resistance is 10 ohm, Akshay, not 2 ohm. So first is wrong, then second is also wrong. Now, Yashika, Yashika, when we write equation, we don't use RMS value, we use the mean value. No? Akshay first is correct. Nabil, your answers. 
that is Nabil Khan. Nabil Khan, your answers. Anshika. Umar, first is correct. Yes, Akshan, now second is correct. Miraj, second is wrong. It will be 1.414, no? Miraj, why is 14.4? Yes, Ishma, second is also correct. Adil, RMS is just peak value divided by root 2, nothing else. Yes, Minashi, it's correct. Second part is correct. Calculate the third and the fourth part also. Yes, Adil, it's, yes, Omar, it's root 2. It's okay. No, a third part is also correct. Yes, Adil, it's correct. No answer from Nabil Khan. No answer from Anshika. Same is with Arpit. I don't know. There's no cos theta, sin theta here. Cos phi, cos phi is one. It's power factor, its value is one. Arpit, Anshika, Nabil. You three are not responding. What happened? Nabil Khan? Yes, sir. You're not calculating? Oh, I just look at the notes. What will be ERMS? No one is asking you ERMS. It's IRMS is asking. Na? Wait. Let's just give me one minute. I'm solving. Arpit, Anshika, and Nabil will solve it together. Huh? Let's, let's solve this question together. Right, Noah? You're correct. Okay, let's do the first part. This is the equation 20 sine 314 T. Compare this with the standard equation of EMF E naught sine omega T. Nabil, how much is E naught? Just compare these two equations and tell me how much is E naught? 20 volt. 20 volt. That's E naught. And read the first part. Is asking you to calculate EMF or current? Current. Current. Now, what is the formula for I naught? Just turn your pages. AC circuit having resistor only. That was the first formula that we wrote. Huh? I naught is E naught by R. You have this in your notebook? Yes, sir. Just use this formula only. Huh? So I naught will be E naught divided by R. Now tell me, how much is E naught? 20. And how much is R? Read question. How much is resistance? 10. Cancel them. So how much is I naught? 2. Ampere. Anshika, Arpit. Yes. Yes. Anshika. Yes. The second is the RMS value of current. Anshika, just turn your pages. What is the relation between the RMS value and the peak value? Relation between oh, the RMS. Sir, uh, we will multiply it by, by 0.707. Yes, I RMS is 0 0.707 multiplied by I naught. 0 0.707 multiplied by I naught. I naught is 2. So it will be somewhat 1.41. One one 1.414. Nabil, clear is it? This part, second part? Yes, sir. 
the third part asking you to calculate average power dissipated arpit what is the formula for calculating average power formula for average power what is the formula that we use for average sir power? erms into irms cos theta yes. erms into irms cos theta and how much is cos theta it's 1 so and how is it 1 because in AC circuit, the phase difference is zero. That's why we wrote here, the phi is zero. Resistor is, in resistor, current and EMF are in same phase. Phase difference is zero. That's why we wrote for resistor that this is ERMS into IRMC. For resistor, it's one, always. So what is ERMS? How much is, uh, or you if you want, you can write your ERMS as E naught by root two. If you want, you can write your IRMS as I naught by root 2. Nabil, how much is E naught? Nabil, go back to the question and check how 20, much is 20 by root 2. How much is I naught? 10. Hmm. How much Sorry, is 2. Out, two. So this is 40 by 2. 40 by 2 is 20. This is the average power dissipated, which is 20 watt. After average power, you need equation of current. The equation of current is I naught sine omega t. This is the equation of current in a circuit having resistor only. How much is I naught? I naught is 2. Sine. How much is omega? Omega, omega is 3140. This is the equation of current two sine. Sir, so cos phi will be one, right? Yes, cos phi will be one for resistor. Cos phi is one. Arpit, clear now? Yes, sir. See, sir, sir, third part is coming, sir. Nineteen point nine nine something. Yeah, because you are taking uh, it's point one point four one four into point one four four four. That that's right. It's nineteen point nine. 